All right. Um, was kind of looking around for something to race and seen a fixed tour mod race going off at Southern National. I don't normally do fixed races in the tour mod because fixed racing with yellows is usually absolutely terrible. Um, but we're going to give it a go because I need to get a race out today. Um, I know a lot of people are, you know, asking how they can support the channel. Um, the flying video that I put out today, watch that. I load those up with ads. That helps the channel. Comment on it. Um, there's going to be one every week now as I fly a small Cessna 152 across the U.S. starting out in far northwest Washington and go to Miami and try to find my way by just looking at a VFR map and the terrain around me. So, um, yeah, if you're looking to uh, help the channel, that is one way to do so. And uh, watch the ads and then uh, like and comment it so that that kind of spreads farther and maybe breaks in like the flight sim youtube is really hard to break into um just because there's many more than uh what is out there for sim racing so it's not something that i'm trying to break into but it's something that i would like to at least be able to do once a week um, kind of break up everything so we are doing fixed setup so that means do that and I guess let's go qualify we are the number two guy so even with no practice I should be okay but uh, it's been a while since I've driven this car so who knows we could be absolutely terrible Way too much force feedback. That's all down to about 11 on this wheel. Green flag, green flag. Okay, here comes your first. First laps with the fixed set. Uh, a little loose and very weird feeling right now. One more lap. I don't even know how to describe it. It feels like the uh, rear end is towed out. I'm sitting a little too high as well, so that's screwing me up. We've only got 70 laps to figure this thing out. And who knows how many of those are going to be under caution. Let's see. Uh, that feels about right. Fifth quickest right now. I'm just going to use qualifying to rack this up. Getting the feel for it. Front end's really slidey though. And yeah, gotta be careful on exit. Getting on the gas too soon, so I hope this isn't just an absolute terrible race, but usually fixed set races end up being that way. Should have been, could have been a little higher. Uh, maybe this isn't gonna be that easy of a race. We'll see. We got two minutes. We're waiting on everyone to qualify. But yeah, the flying videos. Um, it's uh, it's been a fun adventure so far. I think I've got six videos recorded so far, and uh, the last one that I did was uh, I got completely thrown off, thinking I was one place while I was actually in another place and uh, just completely clueless trying to translate what I'm seeing 
on screen to what I'm seeing on a VFR map. Um, so it was interesting. I kind of learned a bit more there. But it's definitely going to be about, I'm guessing, maybe 30, 35 hours of content to fly all the way across. Um, it's just kind of random thoughts of uh, where I'm headed. And I changed my mind a thousand times. But some flights are, you know, 45 minutes. Some flights, like the last one I did, was two hours. Um, just because parts of the country that I'm flying over right now have very, very little for um, decent airports and towns across the area. So I think I just made it into Nevada and... I'm going to be working my way over to Utah next. So, um, they'll just come out every Sunday. I know that everyone's quite busy today with it being a holiday. And views will probably be down on everything. But it's, uh, it's something different. I know not everyone is into a very boring little flight. Um... In the later episodes that I've recorded, I'm starting to do more research on the area and uh, have a little more conversation about what I'm seeing outside. But yeah, I'm hoping they uh, do well and can at least uh, you know, get up to 500 views or so. But now we're going to do what I'm supposed to be good at. That is racing. Um, 70 laps here. That's not a long time. We are starting a long ways backwards. So, could be another drop in I rating. Line up on the outside. Again, Close. Pit road not is something closed. I really care about. I mean, unless I drop under 2,000, I'm pretty much going to always be in the same split that I have been. And this is just a single split. Uh, only 1,500 strength of field, so there's a bit of a uh, bit of a concern if I get wrecked out early. I hope that's not the case. But, yeah, free track and fixed setup. This could just be a shit show. I hope not, but uh, they can tend to go that direction. Still waiting on There's no to tight join. changes allowed during this race. Treat them right and good luck. Five seconds from rolling off. We got two pace laps. Then we'll get going. Maybe. There we go. So they finally got the fans to disappear in the stands here. I just, I like the look of the tracks without the fans so much better. It looks more realistic because the fans, I don't feel they're very realistic looking. Plus, they don't shadow correctly, while the stands will actually do shadow and light correctly. So then, you got this weird, weird overlay of things that have shadowing and things that don't. And I've got something in my eye coming to the green, so perfect timing for that. Um, I guess we're shooting for a top four. Green flag, green flag. Sleeping on that restart compared to everyone else. There's an initial start, not even a restart. We've got a car underneath us. we got a big gap behind us. We're just going to fall in rather than work that outside. 
Slow car down low, 18. Point we got three. someone coming out of the pits and we got go someone high. wrecking car outside. and outside clear. Not even a caution? They caution. Okay, the there we go. Well, we are in the first wreck. Thought the guy was going to spin down and then he overcorrected and we have lost a spot and gained damage. This is why you don't see me run and fix that up much, but wanted to run a tour mod race. I don't know why they got to be shorter races, but it just makes everyone drive even worse. But now, um, not a whole lot of people behind us. Apparently that got a lot of people in that wreck. Feels like the front tires are fine. Um, so, I don't think we got too much to worry about. I think we're okay. I think we just hit him solidly with the front bumper. this guy's doing. So, didn't really see what caused that, but I'm assuming someone ran into someone. Don't see how you could get loose here. Someone was probably focused on the guy coming out of the pits and uh, ran into someone else. So, smoke is very horribly leaving the track. Looks like a uh, very bad PS1 One sprite. You'll be lining up on the inside. At least we got the inside here. Get this spot back. Don't know why that yellow took forever to come out, though. That was very odd. Alright, well, keep on wrecking them, boys. I just have no initial speed. Am I down on power now? Like, why are these guys just lying on the straightaway compared to me. Yep. Car outside, clear up top. Seventeen point one six five. Well, there you damage. go. Let's get that fixed. Uh, front bumper not even pushed in, but uh, I racing damage model is so shit. That that's a blown engine. Not even pushed into the bodywork. Like, think about that. The the engine damage model is so terrible in this game. It's uh. Yep. Well, um. There's the race. Let's see what caused the wreck. Yep, four car, just looking at the lap car, and uh, comes up and takes out the 11. And the 11 didn't actually overcorrect, he got hit again by the four car. And uh, there we go. This is why I don't run fixed. So, 31 minutes of required repairs. Um, yeah, we're not getting back out there. Uh, there we go. I, this is just, that 
does not cause a blown engine. Um, it's a very stupid system that they have for the damage model on the engine. So, oh well, is what it is. Um, there's the video for the day. Sorry. <laughs>